What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield news update video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about leaks and data mine information coming from Pokemon Home. However, this does include leaked information that is going to be included inside of the Pokemon Sword and Shield upcoming DLC. If you do not want to be spoiled by this, it's okay, you can leave the video, peace, I love you, bye. This is my spoiler warning. From here on out, we will be talking about leaked information, data mine information, again, that contains spoilers for the upcoming Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC. Now, if you're still here, boy, let's go. We got 21 new moves for Pokemon Sword and Shield that has been found through data mining of Pokemon Home. If you don't know what Pokemon Home is, Pokemon Home is the mobile app version of Pokemon Bank, basically. It allows you to store Pokemon inside of your mobile phone in the service, the cloud, or whatever, just like how Bank was on the Nintendo 3DS. This Pokemon Home connects to your Nintendo Switch, allowing you to trade back and forth with friends and stuff like that through the cloud-based system. Move Pokemon from Bank into Home and Home into Sword and Shield. Go into Home. Let's go into Home and just and connecting all of the games together. It got updated. And with this update, it brought along 21 new moves again that weren't highlighted. They didn't tell us that it brought over this new moves. These moves were found. Basically, people skimmed through the files and found new names for new moves. Now let's jump over to the article at cpokemon.com. I'm gonna have a link in the description. They're one of the first people that broke the story about these new moves being added to Pokemon Home. From the data mine, it says 12 new moves of the Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC leaked. Do note that this is a Spanish website being translated into English so I can read it to you guys. So it might be a couple of words and stuff mistranslated on screen don't worry about it it says through the pokemon home code the data of new moves that will be added to the expansion pass has been discovered and we can scroll down and we can see that it says the first part of the sword and shield expansion pass out of armor will be released next month Again, if everything's still going to plan and nothing gets delayed, it will be released next month. I do think that it will continue to be released next month due to the fact that we haven't had word about the delay. If they were going to delay it, they would have told us. Also, the fact that they continue to give us the mystery gift event. The mystery gift event, if you don't know, they're giving us a Pokemon a week until the DLC. That event is officially has started. You could jump in the game right now and get your Mr. Mine with a couple of balls and stuff like that. That event has started leading up to the DLC. You would think that they would have canceled that event as well if the DLC was going to be canceled. So it says, we still know very little information about it. And <laughs> please, yes, we all know. We don't know that much information about the DLC. There's a lot of stuff we do know, but a lot of stuff that is still unknown to us. It says, we know that we'll have new Pokemon, new moves, and new adventures. But... Thanks to a new leak today, we have more details on what to expect. And yes, these details are <laughs> kind of juicy. Again, why I'm doing a video on it because I usually, when it's leaked, sometimes you can't really tell if it's true or not. I tend to not jump on the leaks until it's like definitive and stuff is like concrete. But again, this is from a data mine. It's not, I wouldn't call it a leak. This is actual information inside of Pokemon Home. However, there could be a number of reasons why they would add this information into Pokemon Home. But this is more likely going to be connected to the DLC due to the fact that there is one of these moves connected to something we already know. And I'm going to jump into that in a second. It says, Pokemon Center has analyzed the code for today's update of Pokemon Home, finding the names of 21 new moves that can be added soon to Pokemon Sword and Shield. At the moment, we don't know their types or which move or which Pokemon will learn what move. We only know that they exist, and here's the list. They give the list in English, French, and Italian. You could jump in and check it out. And again, there's, there's really no need to go through all of the moves due to the fact that we don't know what they do. We could read a couple of them and see, oh, Steel Roller, for example, maybe a Steel-type move. You know, Meteor Beam, maybe a Fairy-type move. You know, Grassy Glide, maybe a Grass-type move. But there's no reason to deep dive into them because we don't know the effects of these moves. We don't know if they're just straight-up attack moves or they're defensive moves or whatever. We don't know. There's no information on the description of the moves as of yet. As soon as that information is out, then yeah, we will jump in. 
But as of right now, there is no information about what these moves actually do. One of the moves I want to point out for you guys that, again, we know about already is Jungle Healing. Jungle Healing is from the new mythical Pokemon that will be added to the Pokemon Sword and Shield games that is also connected to the movie. Now, I believe this mythical Pokemon hasn't been announced how we're going to obtain the Pokemon. I hope there's something that we have to actually do in the DLC, like an adventure we have to go on and, you know, then we end up getting... A chance to catch this mythical Pokemon however there has been no details on how we're gonna actually get this we do know that people pre-ordered a ticket a while ago from theaters to be able to get one of these Pokemon as well in Japan and that leads me to believe that we're probably just gonna get this Pokemon via mystery gift which will make sense that's pretty much how we get every mythical Pokemon and while that is a letdown within itself, that does kind of connect that this may be connected to the DLC because of the fact that they're going to be ushering in that brand new Pokemon around this time. It will only make sense that that brand new Pokemon information also gets added to the game when the DLC drops. Meaning that we could potentially see all these moves get added to the game when the DLC drops. They also go in and say, unfortunately, the data is in other languages, including Spanish, have been detected. It says, among the new moves, we found Jungle Healing, which is a move for, again, Zare. They also make note that it's quite possible that Wicked Blow and Shuring Strikes could be moves for Yorish... Yushifu, I'm probably saying that wrong, but you know Yushifu, the brand new legendary Pokemon that they adding to the game that when he evolves, he's going to be able to do two different styles or two different, you know, he could be like water dark or whatever the case may be. We go through the dojo with this guy and he's going to learn brand new exclusive moves. Those moves haven't been named, but those would sound like something that would fit with, you know, a fast strike style and then also a, you know, more powerful strong style. So again, this is, again, not concrete information and proof. However, it does line up to the information we currently do know. Now, as you can tell, I am super excited that one, we're getting brand new moves added to Pokemon Sword and Shield via the DLC. We knew this. They said that there were going to be move tutors and stuff like that being added to the DLC, giving us more reasons to, again, build and grow stronger teams throughout our adventures, including the adventure we're going to go on on the DLC. Now, these moves, I don't know if they're going to just be straight up move tutor moves or they're going to be moves added to Pokemon that already exist inside of the Galar decks or they're going to be moves that are going to be exclusive to the brand new 100 Pokemon that they're bringing in or it might be a blend of both. We don't know. As of right now, these moves are not connected to Pokemon via Pokemon Home Data Mine. They are not connected to Pokemon, so we can't tell which Pokemon is going to learn which moves. However, if I do know data mining, they probably going to figure out a way to connect these two Pokemon. However, that data has not been released as of yet. I'll keep you guys updated if we do get more information like what these moves actually do. I'll do a whole video on it as well if these moves get connected to Pokemon that are already existing in the game or existing from the 100 Pokemon returning Pokemon from other games. I'm going to let you guys know right now here let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what do you think about these 21 new moves are you hyped and excited about the pokemon dlc does this excite you at all as a person that is just like you know like me i'm not huge in the competitive scene as far as pokemon goes but this does get me excited knowing that they're gonna be adding a ton of content 20 moves 21 moves may sound like a little bit of moves when you think about the grand scheme of things, but the fact that this is just a DLC and not just, you know, a brand new Pokemon game, this is a lot that they're adding. For DLC, 20 moves with the 100 Pokemon, with the new area, with, you know, new legendaries, new mythicals, it's a ton of stuff that they're adding for the DLC. You could tell that a lot of, you know, effort and time has been thought about what they were going to actually squeeze into this one part of the DLC anyway. 
for what we know. So let me know your thoughts about everything in the comment section below. Like always, I do answer all comments. So let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day just talking about Pokemon. Hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video over and to recommend it so other people can check out the video. Peace. I love you. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. And yo, let's go. Brand new Pokemon back to back to back. I did a video yesterday. Do a video today about Pokemon. Come on, let's keep the Pokemon hype train going. Cause this, yes, let's go, man. I'm hype. I'm hype for this DLC. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.